I think probably it was about the early 1990s. Uh, I had gone to Stanford University to uh, to one of their architectural uh, uh, adult uh, presentations and uh, <clears throat> had learned of Catherine Gustafson and made contact with her and uh, uh, discussed the possibility of her accepting a commission to help us with a bridge and garden. Uh, we had been studying so many solutions and, and, and I had some some very definite thoughts about what I felt we, we should do. And, and uh, we had a, a sloping grass uh, uh, element outside of the Macy's store, which uh, presented some air rights. And, uh, and, I, and I thought if we could take that sloping grass area and literally raise it to, and, and make it a, a platform on, on stilts, so to speak, that we could create an open air garden and that could be a launching place for a bridge going over to Crystal Court. Uh, Catherine uh, came down to the area and uh, she's, she's a very uh, successful landscape architect. Had lived in Paris for 25 years, had just returned to uh, Seattle because her father was having some heart problems and she wanted to be with him. <clears throat> So she came down and we, we talked about the, uh, the concepts. Uh, Catherine was, was, uh, was very uh, positive in many of her ideas, and, but very flexible overall. She and I got along extremely well, and uh, so we proposed together uh, developing this uh, garden, uh, which we call uh, the Garden Terrace, leading to the Bridge of Gardens. Uh, and. Um, through her creativity and, uh, and design, uh, we were able to make which I, what I think <clears throat> what I think is one of the real architectural uh, uh, triumphs of Southern California.